Hey guys, so today's video is going to be this year's newest project pan. Going to do it a little bit differently this year than I did last year. Last year I tried doing 21 products in the year of 2021. I ended up rolling things in. I did complete everything, but I didn't complete all the original 21 products, which was my goal. Um, so this year, is why I'm kind of making it a, it's just slightly different. It's, I'm still going to do rolling pans. I wanna try and finish at least 22 products this year, but every product that I have in the project, project pan this year, I'm not trying to finish up. I'm either trying to finish them up or I'm trying just to pan them. So last year I had like um, a blush that I finished up and I wanted to finish up completely. This year I have a couple things that I genuinely just wanna hit pan on. Let's get started. I am going to start with this. This is a sunscreen, it's from Color Science. It's the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield SPF 50 PA++++. This is actually a really wonderful sunscreen. It's one of my favorites, I have it on today. Side note, most of the things on my face are going to be a part of the project pan. Yeah, it's just starting to get a little bit older. It's the oldest one in my collection, so it's why I'm gonna try and finish this up. I have about three more months before this expires. I should be just fine uh, finishing this in three months. Having a sunscreen in this project pan really helps me focus on using it every single day, regardless if I'm going outside. So I, this will be something I'll use every single day or try to use every single day. Uh, so I don't think I should have any issue with using this up in three months before it expires. Next up, I have two primers, which is kind of strange for me. But the first one I'm going to start with is from Physician's Formula. It is the Spotlight Illuminating Primer. It's very reflective. I mean, this could stand alone as a highlighter in my personal opinion. I put a mark on the back of it so you can see how much product I have left. I have less than half. So I do think this could be something that I would easily be able to finish up by the end of the year. I also have another one similar to this, which is why I wanna try and finish this up first. This year I'm going to do a little bit different from last year. I'm going to take photos of everything so that it's not just a little piece of paper and I'm trying to like hold it up to the camera for you. That was a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna post a photo here of the mark where it's at, date it, everything for you. So you have that available as we go through the year and you continue seeing more of these pan videos. The third product I'm going to try and pan again is also a primer. It's the it's not a primer. I, I use it as a primer. It's the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. It is pretty much essentially a silicone based primer. It looks odd in the tube, but it's very... I don't even know how to explain it really. Just kind of smoothing it makes the skin look a little bit smoother than when you don't have it on um, and i do like the way it feels on the skin it feels very almost cooling in a way without being like that menthol cooling sensation or a tingling sensation so my reasoning for wanting to finish this up is it's not it's not something that's in my collection because I want it to be there. I got this sent to me from Becca. Becca no longer is a brand, so this isn't something that people can get anymore. So I, you know, I just want to finish it up, get it out of my collection, but I want to use it. I don't want it to just sit and not get any use out of. So I figured this is a pretty easy product to layer, to use every day. So that is the goal with that. Next up is a lip mask. It's something I can use every day, which is why I wanted to add it into this project pan. It's from Primera. It's the Clean Berry Lip Mask. I am more than halfway finished. I don't know how well 
you can see, but I don't think it will take me very long to finish this up. And probably whenever I finish this, I'll roll another lip mask or lip balm in its place just so I can keep continually using those things that are in my collection that kind of get forgotten about every every once in a while. I will keep like a running tab of exactly how many products I totally finish up, like I said earlier in the beginning of this. And uh, I mean, there's other things that I'm really close in finishing. I have two concealers that are almost done. I have another foundation that I could be close to finishing. So there's a lot of other things in my collection that are fairly low, surprisingly. So I want to take those into account when I try and finish something. I just don't want to add them to the project because I'm trying to focus mainly on finishing these first. This is kind of strange for me, but you'll see why. I have three foundations that I'm adding to this project pan. I know that is a lot. Um, normally I wouldn't have thought to do that or would have wanted to do that. I would have wanted to just focus on one, finish up, and then maybe roll another one in, in its place. But all three of these are very close to being finished. So I just figured I'd put them in this project pan, really focus on these three until they're all finished, and then I can focus on another. First one that I'm trying to use up is the Skin Tint from Lancome. It's the Skin Feels Good Hydrating Skin Tint. This is actually one of my favorite skin tints. It's super hydrating. It looks beautiful on the skin. I have it on my face today mixed with another foundation that's in the project pan. And I have it marked here so you can see how much product I have left. Again, it's not a lot. It shouldn't take me very long. I have been mixing this in with another color because this one doesn't quite match me. This is very, very orangey, peachy, and I'm not not that orange. I'm not orange at all. So I wanted to get good use out of it. I love the formula. It's just the color does not match at all. So number two and three for foundation that are going to be in this project pan are the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. I have them in two different shades. I have 118 and 128. 128 is my summer shade. 118 is my winter shade. I am about a third finished with the 118 shade. And then the 128 shade, I am pretty much almost done with. So I probably will mix these together. Since I am a lot more fair right now, this one has been working really well and this is the shade, the 118 shade that I've been mixing with the Lancome Skin Tint. Uh, and it, A, it's working nicely and it helps me use this shade up since I have more of it than I do my summer shade. I figured I, the chances of me touching this shade probably won't happen too often until it gets a little warmer out until we start hitting summertime so you probably won't really see this changing at all until we hit summertime but by then I'm hoping that I'm finished with the 118 shade. So this is a concealer that I'm putting in my project pan. It's from Kosas. This is one of my absolute favorite concealers. It's the Revealer Concealer. I have this in the shade 02. It is like the perfect shade match for me. This is one of my favorite formulas. And to be honest with you, I don't have many options left as far as concealers. I actually was going to put this concealer in the in the project pan instead of my Kosas one. This one's from Cloven Hallow. But I'm almost finished with this. Like, I don't even think I have a week left of using this. And I use this a lot with other concealers to really brighten the inside corner, which I used today. I really want to focus on my Kosas concealer because it is one of my favorite products. I love it. I It, it is my, one of my all-time favorite concealer formulas ever. And I have a much larger collection than most people, so why not use the products that I love the most? and put them in a project pan to use them up. Last year, I didn't put any products that I genuinely loved in that collection. It was all stuff that I just noticed I wasn't using because I didn't enjoy using them and that I enjoyed other products over it. So 
I'm putting this in to use it up, to get my money's worth out of it, to be able to use a concealer every day that I love using and I genuinely enjoy using. So you're gonna see this a lot. Hopefully we get some good progress with it. Yeah, I'm excited. Next up is another powder. And I know I put a powder in last year and it truly took me forever to finish up. It took almost the whole year to finish up that powder. It was the never ending powder and I am praying that this powder does not act the same way. This is the KVD Beauty Translucent Locket Setting Powder. I have marked on either side of where the powder is. So I'm a, actually have a lot finished. There's not much left here, if you can see. I'm a little bit more oily this winter than I expected. Normally I'm more on the dry side, but this winter, for whatever reason, my skin has been a lot more oily or just producing more oils than normal. So I actually have been using a powder almost every single time I do my makeup and then I know I'll use this in the summer because I genuinely always do. So I've had this powder a long time. I know it's a powder, powders last forever but I have so many more in my collection. Again, this is one of my favorite powders, so why not use up products I genuinely love, you know? This next one is so old, <laughs> and I use it every day anyways, so I figured I'm getting, finally getting down there in this product, so why not put it in the project pan and see how far I can get? I don't know if I'll be able to use this up completely by the end of 2022, but we'll try. It is my ABH Dip Brow Pomade. I have this in the shade Medium Brown. This is how much I've used up. I have had this brow pomade for, and I'm not kidding you, for years. This is essentially all I use in my brows. I really love the way I can get really thin brush-like strokes with pomade. Um, I normally use like a really, really thin brush and it just works well for me personally. Um, when I do use this, I do not use a lot. <laughs> this is a very pigmented formula and pomade goes a long way. Uh, so I don't have any expectations, but I am curious to see if I could possibly end up finishing it. Cause I'm not kidding you, I think I've had this since 2017, 2018 maybe the, the earliest. But I'm pretty sure I bought this in 2017. So it's five years old. That's really embarrassing to say, but I, I mean, I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of it if I use this every day and it's lasted me five years so far. So yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. I honestly am just for myself personally curious if I can finish it before the end of the year. Okay, next up are two sprays. The one is a makeup setting spray. It's from Pop Beauty. It's called the Makeup Magnet Mist. I marked where I am. You can kind of see where I am anyways with it being clear packaging, but I have the mark right there. I actually like the spray nozzle. I like how it feels on my face. It doesn't stink and it's very affordable. Um, yeah, I'm just getting down there in it. So I figured why not continue to use this every day? And the same with this, but I also use this before and after makeup as well. I kind of use it as its purpose as along with like spraying eyeshadow brushes for more of a foiled look on the eyes, things like that. But it's the Makeup Revolution Niacinamide Clarifying Essence Spray. It is right there. Again, I'll take photos of everything so you can see exactly um, where I'm at each time I come back to do an, an updated video. I got this less than a year ago, I believe. I'm pretty sure I got this less than a year ago. I've at least been using it for less than a year and I am three quarters of the way finished with it. So. This next product is a bronzer. I am not trying to completely finish this up. I don't think it's possible. I have so many bronzers in my collection now 
but the I'm my goal for this is just to hit pan on it. It's from Cloven Hallow. It's their uh, bronzer in the shade Cabo, I believe. Uh, it's one of my favorite bronzer shades and powders of all time. I have it on my face. I adore this color. It's one of my favorites. I love the formula. Uh, I have a huge dip in it. I mean, I genuinely love this powder and I love this bronzer shade. So I, I do think I could hit pan, but I don't know exactly when that's going to be. I mean, it's very hard to tell, especially right now. I don't know, can we see a dip in it, maybe? <laughs> I don't want to finish it. I just want to get a pan in it and maybe expand on the pan a little bit, but I don't have a goal of finishing this. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it. I actually have two blushes in this project pan, but this one is from Tarte. It's another deluxe size. Since I finished my other deluxe size Tarte blush, I knew I'd be able to finish this one and I have less product in this than I did in the in the one from 2021 that I finished and this one is in the shade party I have it on my cheeks today it's a really beautiful pink blush um, I have good like dent in the pan I don't know how well you can see it but I mean there is a massive dent inside the pan so I don't think it'll take me very long to hit pan in this. And then by the end of 2022, I want to totally finish this blush up. It is a favorite color of mine, but yeah, I just wanna finish it up. Next up is the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. I don't have any plans on finishing this up. I just want to hit pan in one of the shades and the shade that I wanna hit pan on is this cream right here. I have a good dent in it. I have been using it non-stop over the last probably five months. I've really been loving this color. It is a beautiful shade. It is such a natural like blush flush that you get with this shade. So yeah, I just want to hit pan on that shade. And then when I do, I don't know if I'll keep it in but we'll see how fast it takes me to hit pan on this. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. All right, two more products, and they are both highlighters. This one is from Becca Cosmetics. It is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Pearl. I have multiple of these highlighters, and this is the only one I have that does not have pan in it, so it was kind of why I wanted to try. I have this on my face today. It is very, very white, so it's kind of hard to wear sometimes. Um, but I'll give it, I'll give it a go. And then the next one is the Dose of Colors and I Love Said IE collab in the highlight Bathe. Really pretty color. It is just slightly too dark for me on most occasions, but you can see a massive dent in this highlighter. So again, I just want to try and hit pan on this. I don't want to try and finish it. I can't even imagine finishing a whole highlighter. I don't think I've done that yet, and I feel like that would be really, really hard to do. Just trying to hit pan on both of them, and then from there, either I will take them out of the project pan and maybe try and roll something back into it. I don't really know yet. I don't know how I'm going to do this project. If I just totally finish up a product, am I going to replace it with something else? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how fast it, it takes me to finish up these products. I have no idea how long it's going to take me. Next up is a cream shadow. It's from Ilya. It is the liquid powder chromatic eye tint and I have this one in the shade Fresco. It is just a deluxe size. Um, I like these cream eyeshadows a lot, but I like them more when they're like a beautiful shimmer. I, I don't prefer mattes and I don't prefer satins and this is more of a satin shade. So I, have it on my eyes today. I used it more of like an eye base so that I had something laid down before I put more eyeshadow on top of it and it worked really well. So I think I'm going to keep using this product in that way and see how far I can get with it. I also threw in this product from Ilya. 
and I threw it in because I feel like it's starting to dry out already and I haven't had it open that long, which is very irritating. This is an extremely expensive product. It's a very expensive brand. It is the Ilia Midnight Express Clean Line Liquid Liner. I have it on today. This is not my favorite eyeliner. It's not black enough. It's a felt tip, which I don't like felt tips. So, but I only have one other liquid liner left besides this one, and I actually like that one a lot more. So I want to finish this one up before I continue using that one. I want to get use out of this. This is very expensive, and I, I, I know I got it. I was gifted this from Sephora, so I didn't pay for this, but still, this is very expensive. I don't like this. I don't recommend it. This is not my favorite. There are a ton of other options out on the market at much more affordable prices than this. This isn't worth the money at all. I have a lip liner that I'm trying to finish. It is the Bodyography Lip Pencil in the shade Barely There. I do not have much left. This is a pretty small looking pencil. I do think I could finish this pretty fast. It is a very neutral shade, so I think I should have enough time, a long enough time to finish this. And last but not least are two lip products that I am adding to this project pan. These are very, very old. They are the KKW and Kylie Cosmetics Cream Liquid Lipsticks. These two right here. So these are just two out of the four shades that came in the set when I purchased them. I don't even remember how long ago I purchased them. I checked, the formula is still fine. They smell fine, they don't smell gross. I have on the shade Kim today. I really love these shades. They're really like pinky neutral shades. Um, and it looks, I mean, it looks good to me. I, I like them. I marked with where I am with both of them. So yeah, we'll just see how long it takes for me to finish these up. For whatever reason, I always end up skipping over these, which is why I wanted to put them in this project pan. It gives me a lot of time to actually be able to use these up. I think these are just going to be like purse lipsticks, like those everyday colors that you can just toss on really quick when you need something. So these will probably live in my purse until they're used up. All right, that is that's everything uh is 22 products like i said i am not trying to completely finish all of these um a lot of the products i do plan on totally finishing up but there's a few powder products and i'll hold them up these four i plan on panning but i don't plan on using them up so we'll see we'll see how far i get i will leave a link above to last year's project pan um, and then at the end of the video I'll probably leave a playlist available so you guys can go check that out and watch it. If you haven't seen the project pan roundup from 2021 go ahead go watch that. I did really good in the year of 2021. I blew myself away. I really shocked myself with how good I did. Um, Still kind of disappointed I didn't finish that one pro product, but that's why I kind of changed things around a little bit this year. I wanted to use stuff that I genuinely loved using and knew I could get pan off of it. So like I said, that's everything for this video, you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.